How many dudes do you know that flow like this? How many dudes do you know that rock a show like this? Rock a show like this. Not many, uh, if any. Yes, to be honest with you, Scribe, I really don't know many dudes. <laughs> um, because I'm a woman and I'm scared of men because um, I've only experienced violence with them. You know how songs used to have the fade out at the end? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what they need is like a fade out of a really terrible song and then a fade back in. <laughs> <laughs> this is straight up a song that like keeps on fading in and out like that. <laughs> and it's just like some pro, like mid-range hip-hop song from 2005. And that's like the whole idea. It kind of keeps on fading in and out. <laughs> Do you remember that era we went through where songs just faded in and out? That was like the big things that songs were doing at the time. And now uh, well, now yeah. they're only um, um, getting fades and coming out of the closet. <laughs> <laughs> they're the only artists we can listen to. Wait, where are you? You know... Oh, I'm not... Am is I your mic on? Oh, oh. Oh, let me turn it down. Oh, yeah, there we go. Wait, am I coming through now? Oh, there we go. Mate, don't be daft. I don't really know what went on there. Did you pick up all my funny comedy earlier? Yeah, mate, we got it. Mate, yeah, I was talking about, um, talking about, like, remember, our oh, MCs used to come out of the closet and stuff like that. What about a device that makes, um, <coughs> people that like men and women makes both their voices louder? It's called a microphone. <laughs> I don't really understand that. What about what about <laughs> one? Um, what about a mic, uh, mic, micro microphone? And it's just really tiny. <laughs> it's like a really tiny phone. <laughs> microphone. And everyone used to like try to sing in it. It's like, yeah, I don't understand how this works. <laughs> it's not making me any louder. It's just a really small phone. What about a psychrophone? And like. You go to talk into it, and you're like, oh, I can't hear my voice. And like, you got to turn it on, and then you turn it on, and they're like, all right, now talk now. And you talk into it, and they're like, psych. <laughs> <laughs> what about a microphone, but it's with a K, and it's... Um, no. Uh, <laughs> no, we won't imagine that. We're not going to imagine that. What about a microphone, and it's... What about one that uh, can only be used by um, lesbians? <laughs> no, oh, like no, no, no. I like we're not going to imagine that. I like that, that one. I do like that white as well. Uh, uh, but I'm dying. Crow. <laughs> Got a phone. My. Uh, who's, what's a microphone? What's the, what's the deal with that? <laughs> what's, what's the deal, the deal with the what's microphone? The with you know, what was the microphone? What's the deal with that? What's the deal with... Um, hey, guys, you know the microphones I'm using right now? What's the deal with this? What even is this thing? None of you can tell me. Joe Rogan? I don't even know. I want to start off a set like that. That's it's Joe Rogan's bit. Is it? Is it? Oh, it is. Oh, no. I was about, I was thinking why it wasn't getting any laughs. <laughs> oh, what? Is he taking shots at Joe Rogan? Oh, yes. bloop, bloop, oh, bloop. Oh, yes, he is. Imagine taking like the, the straight man angle to a new thing. Just anyone tries to do any bit on the show and he's like, no. <laughs> no, he's not taking shots at Joe Rogan. No. So what's no. the deal with Lil Nas X? No. no. Um, yeah, so I was with my girlfriend out last night and we were um, getting lunch. And um, um, no. <laughs> Look, I haven't even said anything. I just wanted to thank our no. No. I'm oh, yeah. So just before the show, we had a look at the, at the numbers. Pretty good numbers. Pretty juicy numbers. Pretty juicy numbers were going on. We got 14,000 listeners in... Alaska. Well, <laughs> looking at the looking at the listeners in the United States, and like, there's this big area just to the west of Canada, and I was like, "That's Alaska," and I said, "No, that's New York." Oh God damn! It. Wait a second. Is it the west of west of Canada? That's Canada. That's Alaska. Uh, where's New York then? How about you explain that to me right before here. we start going? <laughs> right over <here. laughs> Right on the other side. Oh, and we got a fair few listeners in New York. But you know what? So let's do a New York accent. You guys are all n- n- new dorks. New dorks. Huh? How about you how about you start listening to that? New York, it's full of <laughs> full of a certain type of people. <laughs> uh, I think they should call it a di- something else. Is it <laughs> <laughs> There somewhere. <laughs> um, yeah, what's the go with um, Lil Nas X? Seriously, are you keeping up to what's uh, going on with him? Yeah, I listened to the music video. Was it good? 
I think he's like um he's he's mocking not even mocking no not mocking he's kind of playing out like being penetrated by some character what yeah and he's like kissing dudes on the lips and i don't like it that's why it's blown up because he's kissing dudes on the lips and I getting penetrated so. it's not even a song it's just like it's just a music video of him getting penetrated yeah. and kissing dudes on the lips like in really grainy quality and you can't even really tell if it's him or not we can put are it you, on are you being for real have you seen the new scribe music video <laughs> it's him um, with like a penetrating little Nas X. <laughs> it's him with like a oversized white tee and a New York baseball hat. How can and he's we like rapping that? in the streets? Is there a way that we can listen to this? And he's like in an alleyway. Is this it? Yeah, this is it. <clears throat> if he doesn't get penetrated, I'm gonna be so upset. I know. I think we're all gonna be pretty upset. Wow, this looks fantastic though. Is it more like more like Lil Nas Triple X? Because I don't think this is pretty appropriate for my daughter to be watching. Why is this freaking people out? Because he's a black guy on television. I don't really... <laughs> I'm not really cool with this. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, is he... Why is he wearing a... He's wearing a pink wig. Do you literally know why it's... Because, again, we started this episode off with hip-hop. Do you know what I mean? Like, is this, is this hip-hop? Where's, why isn't Scribe having... Why doesn't Scribe have 29 million views on his song? Not is many. Is getting from 2005. Oh. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, he's just doing, he's just doing like, homoerotic stuff yeah. with, like, a Satan-type character. And I don't like it. I don't know. How about we quickly put, uh, can we quickly put on Scribe again? I need to I need to kind of get that out of my <laughs> mind. I'm sorry. Can we please put Scribe back on? <laughs> oh, thank goodness. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh. How many dudes know uh. that I'm gay? <laughs> How many dudes know that I'm gay? Not many, <laughs> if any. <laughs> Not I'm many. in the closet, hard myself. <laughs> uh, wear uh, oversized tees and. Uh, I don't even know. <laughs> More like bribe. <laughs> he's just, uh, he's he's just, just bribing all his friends to not tell anyone that he's gay. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, how, many, how many dudes you know? Not many, huh? What about Cribe? He just cries because no one appreciates the fact that... He's really making good music. And that's a good music video. I miss the music videos where it's just a, a guy being still... <laughs> <laughs> still <laughs> screen in, a, in a prison what it looks like what you think I want to see dudes move around <laughs> <laughs> hell no nah. I only nah. like chicks doing that <laughs> I only like Christian chicks doing that I only that. like my Christian wife age. doing that <laughs> when it's time for us to make children that's the only time I like to see women move around that's the only time peace out now Yo? I said goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, more scribe for us. He's missing out on subscribe. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what else we got Let's here? Look up scribe. We look, what are we looking up? Scribe. Scribe. What's scribe. the song called? Uh, Not Many. No, it's called Not Many. Scribe Stand Up. <laughs> and he's like, how many dudes you know? <laughs> uh, roll like this. First things first. How many dudes you know know like this? Yes. <laughs> no one knows the song? All right, then, more song for me. Where's it? I, want the I like how all these music videos are just like a still what image. Is, what is this song? It's, it is called Not Many. It's Why can't not I find an instrumental for this? Oh, you want to do a freestyle, do it? Oh, there it is. Scribe 2001. Where? Oh, in 2001 instrumental. <coughs> <laughs> I think he already... Wait, give me a try. How many dudes you know know like this? How, How many, many dudes, dudes you know, know roll like this? this? Not many. Not many. If any. If any. Not many. How many dudes you know roll like this? How many dudes you know roll like this? How many dudes you know flow like this? Not many. If any. How's he How from many dudes you know? He's from New Zealand. Yeah. Does that blow your mind? More like, more like tribe. Aren't they pretty tribal over there? More like hide. More like hive. <laughs> um... Uh, What's up uh, with everyone having sex with sheep in New Zealand? Um, because the women are very sheep-like, or <laughs> I swear to God, I just thought it was my hairy wife. <laughs> I 
couldn't tell, darling. I promise. <laughs> I promise. I don't, oh, I don't know the difference. How, how could I stay mad at you with yeah, an I accent like that? <laughs> <laughs> I know, that's why they can get away with it. <laughs> 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 silly just can get away with murder. <laughs> They're literally just like having sex with a sheep. He's like, <laughs> darling, what are you doing? I'm doing nothing. I'm just with the sheep here. Do you know what I mean? I'm just helping the sheep out. I'm just trying to help the sheep. I'm just trying to help the sheep out. That's all. He's like, oh, how can I see, man, at that accent? <laughs> it's so cute. It sounds like you're a, some sort of funny, fluffy animal. I have to tell you something, my wife. I want to sleep with a sheep. I have to tell you something. I'm about to go shoot up a mosque full of Muslims. Oh, how could I stay mad at you for doing a joke we did last week? <laughs> 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 I don't care. Darling, what's the deal with um furry porn, Michael Jackson? <laughs> it's all pretty weird stuff, isn't it? It's all pretty weird. It's all pretty weird stuff, isn't it? We should probably talk about that. But why is this yeah, why is this why are people get mad at Lil Nas Ace? Do you know? Um Do you know about this? Have you seen people blowing up? More like um <laughs> <laughs> Just tell me the answer. <laughs> Do you have the answer or not? Homophobes. Oh, the whole Jesus. idea is gay people will be sent to hell and then he's in hell having the best time. Having oh, I hate that. Do I you? hate that. Hell's not good. You're not kissing people in hell. And he's not he's not wrong. He's a man of God. He knows where he's gonna be ending up. This is crazy, like the um platform this is given. Like this is gonna awaken some things. Oh, like straight up. I find it attractive. I'm like, um, I mean, I know, I know. anyway. Um, <laughs> put scribe on now. Quick, quick, put scribe on. Put scribe on. Peace out, man. Peace out. Put scribe on right now, please. Scribe on. I'm starting to get ideas. Wait, what about scribe I'm with this video? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Anyone listening, uh, put on this song. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, put on scribe, not many, and then we're uh, watching the Lil Nas X Montero music video. Oh, thank goodness. It's kind of evening me out. Oh, like wow. He really is. He's just doing lots of gay stuff with I'm like listening weird to scribe. alien things. I'm listening to Scribe. Yeah. This is... Which one do? This is nuts. The music video. <coughs> like, who else has done anything like this? Oh, true. Be it like overtly gay. Many... How, uh, how many? <laughs> Let's keep having scribe answer our questions for the rest of the episode. <laughs> how many people do you think have done a music video like this? Scribe? <laughs> um, how many people? How many people are kind of adopting some principles after adopting some kind of fundamental changes in their sexuality after watching their Lil Nas X video? <coughs> I think that's great that that's out there. That there's out there kind of corrupting the youth. Yeah. You do get the debate of like, is it too much? Is it corrupting the youth? No, but there's WAP. This they, is done... But I feel both are corrupting the youth, This is they? done a lot more tastefully than... than oh, that's than true. WAP. Oh, that's true. It is, isn't it? But maybe that's just because I'm... Because uh, I don't find... Yeah. I'm like, why are those women being so disgusting? But this isn't <coughs> even like disgusting is it this is very <coughs> like tasteful and arty and like very arty and very the production tasteful. on this is he looks pretty good he looks pretty beautiful he looks pretty like handsome our boy the production on this is great i prefer amateur but this is pretty good too yeah like, look at his he's a handsome boy how long do you think it would take for you to to, to um ejaculate the bus to this uh not long not long at all. especially when he's like bring his bring his legs out like that I think we're just going to straight up watch this music video for the rest of the episode. It's doing something. So he broke Satan's <coughs> neck after seducing him, and now he's wearing his crown. He grew some wings. So what? Now he's the, the, the god of devil. Oh, true. So that's what Satan. happens. You're kind of seducing. The, the devil is meant to be like a flip for like Christian belief systems. And he's breaking their neck, and then we're all going to be gay. Yeah, I was reading this thing on the Bible, actually, yeah. like on the Old Testament. I was oh, telling you? you earlier. Yeah, right. and um, first I've heard of this. Got to keep it new. Got to keep it fresh. People can't know who's talking. <laughs> 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 
they were talking about how there was uh, I forget the word, but it was like these people that kind of like revised the Bible and edited it along the way, and a lot of the stuff they spoke about Satan, yeah. they added in there in place of earlier translations where they had God doing bad shit or they had Abraham doing bad shit yeah. and just swapped it out for the devil made him do X, Y, Z. No, not Abraham. Mo- also, it was Moses people. That wrote the Bible. No, that were... Uh, yes, it was. Uh, um, Moses. So Moses... Oh, like pe- people were doing bad things and like... It would be like Abraham God... Abraham was doing bad things and was like, yeah, yeah no, it wasn't if Abraham, it was if the devil. It fell out of line with the narrative. God was like, you have to do X, Y, Z or else your people won't get any water. It's like, I'm X, Y, Z. Hello, you have to do me. I'm sorry. <laughs> you people, you want water? You have to do me. <laughs> um, imagine if there was a, some straight up some guy called X, Y, Z who everyone had to have sex with before things could get done. That would be a... Re- <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a really, <laughs> really good kind of like stage name as well. X, Y, Z. X, Y, Z. He says, uh, butthole spread open. <laughs> Before you want to do anything, you got to do X, Y, Z. <laughs> uh, I know you really want to do this job. I really hope Lil Nas X is X, Y, Z. Wait, what's an example of the X, Y, Z thing? Um, oh, yeah. So for, I had to do like X, Y, Z and then um, I, I head, head off. <laughs> That's not a very good example. <laughs> <laughs> so I was going to the shops. Um, I had to pick up. Uh, I was picking up my kids later. I had to get to the shops. Then I had to do X, Y, Z. <laughs> then I had to pick up my kids. And it's like, Dad, why are you sweating so much? And it's like, he's a... <laughs> He's a tough lay, You're boys. You're gonna have to do X Y Z one day. <laughs> You're gonna have to do him too. <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy. <laughs> uh, so Moses had to have sex with a man called X Y Z. I had to run some errands today. Uh, okay. Who's Aaron? <laughs> <laughs> and you just have to literally like coach, <laughs> uh, coach like. <laughs> <laughs> like multiple women called Aaron <laughs> into running fast. I had to run some errands. Yeah, you had to run some errands. So there was uh, four women called Aaron. You have to meet at a park and you have to take them through like an athletic session. <laughs> 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 Wouldn't that be the funniest thing on earth? Like let's say you're meant to be meeting friends or something at the beach. Yeah. And you're like, oh, I just got to run some errands first. They're on their way driving to the beach. They see you with four <laughs> women in the park. <laughs> and you've got like a whistle, and like a coach's <laughs> uniform on. And you take them through like athletic drills. I was picturing like Aaron's on your back and you had to like run her somewhere. You had to run her to like <laughs> XYZ's house or something. <laughs> I had to run some errands. I had, uh, I had a lot going, a lot going on. <laughs> I had a big workload. <laughs> <laughs> I would have got around to it, but I had a big workload. <laughs> I had a big workload. It took me so ages yeah. to clean up the toilet bowl. <laughs> oh yeah, my like desk. It. Yeah, workload. I get it. Uh, what are some other What are some other phrases you people always use? Or it's like, um, you know, what's his name? Or we could be like, I had to. <laughs> no, 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 your AirPods are working. <laughs> no, the podcast is still on. You're still there. How many dudes do you know flow like this? <laughs> Can we put on subscribe again? <laughs> I think you'll probably know an answer. Do you know what I mean? Oh, no, I closed yeah. it. Subscribe. No. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, subscribe. We need a, 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 a remix. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The remix is pretty fast, isn't it? How many times do you know you feel like this? How many times do you know fall like this? No money. It's sunny. How many times do you know fall like this? In money. Ain't funny. Not many. <laughs> <laughs> do you know oh, flow yeah. like this? How many times do you know? In the remix, I see five dudes flowing exactly the same. <laughs> I did really think he's there's something going on there. I think he may need to retitle the song. How many dudes you know flow like this? There's five, and there's five men in this remix. When did this flowing s- just like this? When did this song come out? 2005. <coughs> 2005. Yeah, 05. The remix may have come out a little bit later. New Zealand Top Hip Hop Episode Five. 
<coughs> I don't yeah. know anyone that flows like that, to be honest. Describe. How many dudes you know flow like this? <laughs> what about what about you go to the bathroom and you've just got uh, like a stuttery kind of really stream. strange flow? It's like really aggressive. The <laughs> <laughs> how many dudes you know <laughs> fly like this? So yeah, dude, not many at all. I really, if any, because I that's r- looks extremely unhealthy. When I played that show on the weekend, I went to the bathroom. Yeah, and there was a guy like at the trough as he finished up. Um, I was like stepping up to the plate. Mm. He kind of walked away. And he was like, that was a really good set, man, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, thanks, man. And then he went and opened the door. Yeah. But I wasn't even done pissing yet. And he was holding the door open, waiting for me to, like, kind of come out. That's such a great moment. And then, you know, like, bathrooms have... He didn't have anything else to say. He complimented me. I was like, thanks so much, man. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah. He was like, yeah, no worries, man. (laughs) Kind of, like, waited. On the inside with the door pulled towards him. He knew, like, he knew you were stepping up to the trough. But it was like a double... D- well, I was mid-stream. You were streaming. You were streaming. He was waiting for me to drop He was talking to you while you were streaming. <laughs> but the thing, there was like... You were streaming and he was talking to you. He said, great, sir, while you were stream- mid-stream. <laughs> yeah. But that's not even the worst thing. He just held the door open. Yeah. And then you know how like in public bathrooms, how sometimes they've got the double door? They've got like the little intermediate section. Oh, yes, yes. So okay. held that one. I was thinking as this happened... Because I'm like, the reason they have that is so it's not just one door and then you can look straight in and see someone right at the trough. See someone's, yeah. Dude was holding the door wide open and then someone came in through the next door. Yeah. And there was just people on the other side of it. So because of this guy's compliment and his desire to wait and hold the door open for me. Yeah. There was like 10 people outside that just saw me midstream. <laughs> wow, he's got a good flow on stage end in the bathroom. Every time I go to that bathroom a specific pub yeah some crazy always happens oh is this the same one where the ice junkie whatever oh what was that i don't know that one but um you gotta fight with the other way oh it's just kelly's yeah kelly's on king wait in a fight with on the alleyway i don't remember that oh really i think you talked about it in one of the episodes oh uh, there was a guy on ice looking for your lighter Oh yeah, no, that was that just, was a different. That pub. was just like out on the street. Yeah, but I, I'm more yeah. I'm more trying to figure out like the etiquette when it comes to urinating, urinating etiquette. I oh, don't you feel can talk when someone's urinating. <sighs> what if they're heavy into the stream, and they're at a place where it's like I don't know how much splash that back there's going to be. I'm trying to kind of assess the situation. So you need to put all your thought into ma- like controlling your stream. As soon as you get the stream started. Again, if someone's talking to you again <laughs> before the stream starts. It's like you go to the doctor's office and have to take a whiz there. Yeah. And you're like, look, doc, is this normal? Do you know anyone with a flow like this? So very funny scribe. Um, we actually have to. You, <laughs> you actually may have to. We actually have, have a lot of sick patients <laughs> here <laughs> that we could be helping scribe. <laughs> Scribe! <laughs> Scribe! <laughs> I've done it again. He just goes to different How many dudes offices. you know have six is sheep? <laughs> <laughs> Not many. Um, I can't even really think of another song that falls within that same category, like that place in my heart. What? The Not Many song? Yeah. Um, you've got Jimmy Ricard. Yeah, you got your Jimmy Ricards. You got your Jimmy and your Ricards. Um, <laughs> you got your Jimmy. You got your not manys. You got your ma- not manys. You got your. What was that draft? You know, actually, oh, you know, Fifty Cent says like, um, "Many men wish death upon me." Yeah. And then he says, "Not many men. How many? How many, many wish?" What What I want to know is why are these rappers talking about men? That's a, that's, a, that's an awful amount of men to wish death upon you. Usually that's only after you've done something wrong to them sexually. If many men want to kill you, wish death so upon you. So what you're implying is... 50 says a homosexual. Lil, Lil Nas X? Lil Nas X. Um, many men wish death. Who's death? Also, they wish death. They wish like 50 Cent would become <laughs> deaf. He would lose his sense of hearing. Um, scribe. 
wants to know how many people flow like him. And in the remix, there's five different men. <laughs> oh, but anyway. Who's there? Okay. Anyway. Tell. Anyway, back into the Bible. What are you talking about, the Bible? Uh, the ten, oh. ten Commandments. Oh, what yeah, if there yeah, was, yeah, a, the what if there was like straight up a Ten uh, Commandment that got left out? The, w- the original ones, they're in the Bible now. They're in the Torah. Yeah. But it's crazy. Like, don't talk to the taxi. Don't, as a taxi driver, talk to someone who just gets in your <laughs> gets in your cab. Talk to them. Don't, um, as a cash rate, just check her out. Uh, don't talk to the people who are uh, checking out their groceries. Um, I think we should have a new Ten Commandments. All right, well, let's, wait, let's look at these. Let's go with the Ten Commandments, are. Um. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. The Ten Commandments. Um. No, these are the weird ones. I'm looking for the weirdos. Oh, you're looking for the what? The Ten Commandments. <coughs> I am thy Lord. God. Oh, here we go. We're looking up the Ten Commandments now. <laughs> okay. What have you got? I am thy Lord God. Where is it? The original Ten Commandments kept. No, but straight up. So I was listening to like that lecture. They were talking about like the original Ten Commandments and how they're like written different ways. Yeah. But the first one's like, like thy will. Like. Thy will. Um, do this. It's, it's like all to do with. None of it is to do with being good to one another. It's just like about like sacrificing a goat on Monday and then sacrificing. Oh, this like is the original Ten Commandments. Well, it's the first one chronologically. Yeah. In the Torah, Brad's not getting his tractor back. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I wrote it in the commandments. That's number three. Brad's not getting his tractor back, and then Brad's like, "Yeah, that's a little bit personal." It is meant to be the commandments for all of humanity, and I'm just not going to get my tractor back. You said you were going to return it two weeks ago, <laughs> and now you now you're talking about I'm your, I'm your neighbour. Like I don't even know what you're using it for. I Brad, I need to mow my lawn. If you don't stop asking questions. <laughs> I'm going to assemble everyone, and I'm going to make a big deal out oh, of this. Oh, how about no Brad's allowed in in the city anymore? <laughs> I could change it to that. Is yeah. that you like that one more, Brad? How about Brad's wife? <laughs> Has to, has to show her a nice little pad. Uh, <laughs> Uncle Uncle Moses here. <laughs> how about uh, how about Uncle Moses gets a taste? <laughs> you look at the initial Ten Commandments and the just about Brad. <laughs> 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 no, I can keep going, Brad. All it says you're not getting your track, your lawnmower back. But now all Brads are gotta make dinner for Moseses. All right, all right, here we go. I got him. I got him. Would you want to do that to be petty? Yeah. Literally, if you were writing the Ten Commandments, do something extremely petty just to get at your neighbor or something like that. I think there's something kind of... Um, if I wrote the Ten Commandments, what would it be? All right, here we go. Imagine that's what Moses really looked like. We're looking like a video. I don't think anyone would respect him. <laughs> if Moses looked like that guy? I mean, he technically does. He's just a guy <laughs> with long hair and glasses. Here we go. Th- these are the original Ten Commandments. Well, I keep saying original. They're the like chronologically earlier one. Jackson Rocks. <laughs> oh, I don't Excellent. know why I just said, says that. Um. Um, <laughs> Jackson Rocks. <laughs> Thou shall listen to Scribe. <laughs> Thou shall not get gay feelings when listen to Lil Nas X. And even if you do, it doesn't mean that you are gay. It's like... um. Yahweh passed in front of him and called. No one flows like scribe. For you shall not bow to another god, because Yahweh, his name is jealous. He is a jealous god. You shall not make uh, molten gods for yourself. You shall not observe the festival of unleavened bread. The first birth of every womb is mine. Uh, Six days you shall work, and in the seventh day you shall cease. You shall make... A uh, festival of weeks and the uh, first fruits of a ho- of the wheat harvest and, and the festival of gathering. What's going on? These are pretty basic dudes. They're going to festivals all the time. <laughs> yeah. Like, 
How many times do I want to mention? Thou hack? <laughs> Is that what it's called? Like this uh, dancing? Oh, hack. I like hack. Hack it. Yeah, yeah. I like that. That show hack. It's our favorite dance. It's our favorite dance. We listen to that when we listen to... We do that when we listen to Scribe. <laughs> you shall um, not offer the blood of my sacrifice on leavened bread. Keep talking about bread and festivals. I know. It <laughs> 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 the sacrifice of the festival is Passover. Shall not remain until morning. So we get it. You like you like party drugs. You, shall you bring like EDM music. We get it. You shall bring the first fruits of your land to the house of Yahweh, your God. You shall not cook your kids in its mother's milk. This this dude in the lecture said like they're talking about goats, baby goats as kids, not not children. Ah. Uh. But still, it doesn't make much fucking sense. <laughs> what about what about J. Cole then? What did he do? Oh, <laughs> they cooked him. I said, mind. what about J. Cole then? Huh? How are you meant to cook him? I hope he's cooking up some of us. Because <laughs> it's been a while since he cooked up some of us. But I may disobey one of these Ten Commandments and cook him up. Jed. Uh, so number seven is. Do not offer the blood of my sacrifice on leavened bread. And then uh, in another point in Exodus, in the Ten Commandments, it is do not <laughs> commit adultery. Having sex with this. That's the equivalent. Leavened bread, <laughs> do not commit adultery. <laughs> or you have, Number six is observe the festival of weeks, the festival of the first fruit, and the festival of the gathering. Oh, wow. It's, it's this one. It's and then the next one is number six, and the other one is do not murder. <laughs> Someone just really took creative liberty. <laughs> <laughs> it was just like, I don't really care about festivals that much, but maybe we should not kill each other. Women should cover up. Women should cover up when out in public. What about the guy that did that first Ten Commandments? That was just like a massive pill head. <laughs> he kept talking about festivals. And they just gave him all the stop. power in the world. Like, you write the Ten Commandments. This is God's word. He <laughs> just keeps... He talks about festivals for the <laughs> entire <laughs> ten. Uh, so first one. Maybe we can talk about, like, do this at festivals. Maybe number two. <laughs> we can do this at festivals. Number three. <laughs> maybe maybe do don't do this at festivals unless I mean, um, you got two other mates with you. Look, all right. Personally, I've had some bad experiences with it. But... um. I, I probably write, don't try that at festivals. I don't want to okay. tell you what to do at festivals or like what to not to include, but don't do this at festivals. <laughs> they get to number 10 and he's just like, I don't know, um, don't cook a baby goat <laughs> in its mother's milk. Actually, no, that's a bit much. Maybe don't like, don't go, you have to be at a festival with two others. They have to be with you there. Like you have to be raging together. Um, don't get too close to the speakers. Um... Yeah, that's basically the Ten Commandments. It was also like an expression in the Bible. It was um, to know, mm. which was a euphemism for like they had sex. All oh, right. So like if if they if they were to know to each know. other or something like that. Oh, to know each other. Yeah. Oh, right. I like. I want to start using that term. And I'm thinking about how many people I know, and I feel like I've got to start apologizing. Like, I know a lot of kids, man. I don't know what that means. <laughs> but according to the Bible, it ain't good. But let's just say I've had sex with them. <laughs> oh, wait, that's what it meant? All right, then. What else is I looking at? Oh, yeah, like, um, Muhammad, like, getting a bunch of, like, Muhammad the prophet. Yeah. Getting a bunch of. Uh, so uh, had, uh, 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 what other Muhammad could you be mentioning? He had um, like a what's it called, like a concubine, I guess. Yeah, is what you call it. And the youngest one was like young, and it was like his best friend's daughter. Muhammad, what's he like humming all the time or something like that? <laughs> He's yeah, yeah, he had a concubine. His best friend's daughter was in it. Yeah, right. But but it also the, the I, I was reading this book and it said um like the reason for polyamory. He's like Abdul, I know you're not gonna have a problem with this. I I hope <laughs> I know you're not gonna have a problem with me being with your daughter. It's me, Muhammad. It's <laughs> Moe. Let's just say I know her. <laughs> <laughs> what we listen to subscribe together. <laughs> uh, we watch a little Nas X video. Things X got video weird. Is, uh, <laughs> what you want me to do? 
it brought things out of me. Actually, I th- I'm pretty sure like this is a massive scene we're impersonating. <laughs> 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 Um, no, what is it? Um, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, you had like that concubine. Oh, yeah, and the reason that they had um, this book that I was reading, it said polyamory was common in Arabia. Mm. So that there would be. Because people die all the time. So you just like, if your husband dies and you're kind of cooked. Oh, uh, yeah, straight up. So <laughs> they're all like, all right, well, let's all have. Like, just multiple wives. That ought to fix the problem. Yeah. And then it's like, no, if that guy dies, then there's going to be seven yeah. women without a husband. <laughs> and they're like, all right, let's pull these women out of school so they can't work that out. <laughs> is that the angle? <laughs> the guys are straight logic. up at festivals all the time and can't really, like, think straight. But you're just coming Maybe. up with all these ideas, like, and you're at straight up just at a festival. This is loud, loud music, and it's like, yeah, we got to figure this out. I know, I know. Uh, if I die, uh, I I get another wife or something like that. Okay, <laughs> uh, let's, let's just, yeah, come on, man. Like Avicii's coming on. <laughs> He's gonna die soon. I want to listen to it. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> it's, yeah. it's just, it feels like all this stuff was like so rushed and so done in such haste. So, what's the idea if you die? If one of your wives dies, one of your wife dies, you'll have another one. Yeah, but they're talking about the men dying. Well, what I was reading was talking mm. about the men dying. Mm. I guess it makes sense from the woman's point of view. If that woman dies during childbirth or something, which is likely to happen. Which would happen all the time. Then, you know, at least you've got <coughs> another six. I like that. To try from. Another six is in turn of like a six that's also going to give birth. You can marry. I don't think Imagine if they were like six wives. They meant just like a six. Like your wife was a six. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like you've got your wife and you got like a... I'm polyamorous. <laughs> I don't know you she mean? Was a, she was a six. I've got a six waiting for me in case anything happens. Well, you've got six wives. <laughs> but I, don't, I, don't, I can't hear you. I'm in a fest. <laughs> I can't hear you. It's loud. Avicii's on. What? you got six? You got six wives? No, no. She's a six. <laughs> Okay, I'll say you got six wives. Let's <laughs> <laughs> um, all this stuff just literally everything in everything in the Quran, everything in the Bible, all was like a misunderstanding because they're all at a festival when writing this stuff. It's crazy! It's crazy how many people have rewritten it, mm. except for the the Quran, right? Which I believe is a little bit more intact. They didn't need to keep rewriting it, but. There was like, oh, there was something like, something like 70 original Jewish documents. Right. They were all sacred texts that were like around <coughs> way back, like in the 1600s BCE. Oh. Something like that. 1660. Wait, 60 different texts. Wait, one 1,600... And they had B- 60 BC. different texts. Yeah, 1,300 BC. Four. 1,000. Before. Before. Um, before. Um, before. <laughs> can't even know. Can't Moses. Even. <laughs> More like <laughs> blowses. <laughs> My brain just won't work. <laughs> it's just always a been in a festival, long. basically, and that's why I'm having issues with this. Um, oh, but they had 60 different texts. Yeah, there was like 60... There was like so many different books, mm. different like religious teachings and whatever, mm. that they lost in like crusades and shit like that. Yeah. So it's just whittled down to like this little thing. That'd be wild if you like found one of those old books. We watched a documentary recently called... What wasn't like Scandal in the Mormons or something like that? It was this thing. Oh, it was a Netflix documentary. Scandal in the Mormons. And it, it was like something Mormon, like that. Mormons have just been watching Scandal. Or like TV murder, show. murder in the Mormons or something like that. Kerry Washington Scandal. So they were really obsessed with it. <laughs> 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 there was a guy. Jebediah, she's such a strong, powerful black woman. Something, uh, uh, 
Hebben die, hebben die ook. <laughs> that was, um, Folks, I drove up from Queensland yesterday. I'm still getting my head around. <laughs> <laughs> What was it? Uh, oh, yeah, Murder in the Mormons. Or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There was um, like a book that this guy found. Yeah. He was like a, a researcher of like early Mor Mormon documents. Documents and stuff. Would they have like more Mormon wood in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got a case of the old Mormon wood. Time to make a child or do <laughs> nothing. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, he found this early document, sold it to the church. Mm. And then he began to find more and more and more. Kept selling them to the church. He's got, he's got Mormon wood. Uh, he can't find his wife, wife because she's watching Scandal. Um, he sees the Lil Nas X video pop up <laughs> and he finds his best male friend and he's like, well, we got to do what we got to do. Um, anyway. Oh, what's this thing? <laughs> yeah, so then, um, yeah, he's like printing off all these documents. Mm. Or like finding the documents, sorry. He's finding all these old things that like change the way the Mormon church views religion and everything. Yeah. A shit that will disturb the system. And he's selling them for a bunch of money. And then it turns out that he had been printing all those documents for years and years and years, right? Uh. And there were people that were catching on to him that were like his associates. So he planted bombs at their office and at their front door. What was this guy's goal? He's trying to like disrupt the Mormon church. His goal was to make a bunch of money. But then he, ah. like, he found the power in that and like people would just believe anything that he came up with mm. so he could just rewrite it and then they'd have the best certifiers in the world and be like this is real wow so we found like a and i guess mormons being kind of a little bit um naive and kind of willing to kind of listen have to faith in something yeah it's almost the ultimate hustle but yeah he was making like millions of dollars yeah. And then, um, yeah, he... Making up all these all these transcripts himself. Yeah, And selling basement. it to the... Yeah. Really. And then he, yeah, killed this one guy, like blew him up and killed him. And then placed another bomb at another guy's house. Yeah. And then he had one in his car that short fused and blew up on him. Mm. And he was like in a critical condition and whatever, but that kind of just strengthened his case. Yeah. And then the FBI were onto him. They hired these people and it took them like six months to end up finding, f what would you say, fallacies yeah. in his work. But the other thing was the documents that he sold to the church, the Mormon church in the States would not give up those documents because they were like so sacred. Yeah. So they had to go off the other ones that they had found of him, the other documents that he had made. Uh. <coughs> and yeah, it took them like six months or something. And they were like, finally, we got it. Because their angle was, we have to keep going until we find an inconsistency. Ah. Going from the angle of like, we're trying to prove this guy wrong, not yeah. right, you know? Like you're literally like going through Scribe's discography and you're trying to find like areas where he's flowing pretty average. Therefore being like, well, if he says not many dudes flow like this, he does this flow here, which um, is also done by this other rapper, Draft. So therefore, it means that it is untrue. Oh, actually, no, he's still got a point. Damn, we haven't got him yet. He's not many. Yeah, he's not saying. Yeah, he's not saying no one. I guess it comes down to semantics. What's many? What's many mean? Many men wish death upon 50 cent. But anyway, this yes. guy, this guy, <laughs> so he's fine when the bomb goes off. They ta take him, them ages. They find out that he's like pulling a dodgy. And then he goes to jail, like, for life after that. And the whole thing's crazy because he just made these documents in his house and they looked perfect. Everyone fell for them. He made millions of dollars. Mm. And, yeah, and he just kept pushing it. So he could have just sold those ones to the church. They never would have let it out. He could have altered the that forever. Yeah, yeah. But the whole Changing time... Changing, like, fundamental religious religious beliefs. Just from some guy. Yeah. yeah. Insane. He was raised as a Mormon, too. Ah. This guy who was raised in, like, Salt Lake City or something like yeah. that. Ohio. Uh, Utah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, crazy, crazy how someone could do that. And I guess it's it's probably going to be more easy to do, like as life goes on. Do you know what I mean? The technology gets better and better. So I think it's a pretty good scam. Oh, like even deep fakes. Deep fakes. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You like have your deep fake subscribe being like, I'm just being true. There's a many. There's actually a lot of people that can flu like me. Um, I'm not the only one. You know, I was just thinking everyone else that sings along to that song. Yeah. There's probably a few people that can flow like that. I, I, it's not that tricky to <laughs> flow like scribe. But even though he's lying straight to my face, it's mm. still like a good song. You know what I mean? But he's, it's, a, it's a fallacy. Why is it a fallacy? Because... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's lying. Yeah. Like not many can... Yeah, not many. But then a bunch can, clearly. Yes. But then I guess you also like the song still. Yeah. What's a, what's a scam we could pull nowadays? What's a really solid one I don't know, on a church could, like, to kind of get an old person? To get a little bit of money in. <laughs> beat up an old person. <laughs> <laughs> but what's the scam? What's the scam? Oh. Uh, You're going down, old man. But a nice scam we can kind of pull to kind of get a lot out of. How about we say we were raped by a priest? We could go to a festival and uh, <laughs> write some new commandments. Be a tricky one, I guess. I wonder when the last time was people found kind of these old old documents, kind of in like sand or something like that, or been digging for it and came across one of these old books. Yeah. But I guess it was such a long time ago that they would all like um, be broken down so much you could barely even keep a hold of it. Because I'm sure if you like go to the Middle East or any of these areas and just go in like the middle of the desert and just start digging randomly, there is a real chance you could come across something. Do you know what I mean? Like the chances are that something could could have been buried. Yeah. Or if you do find a cave and then find, I, I just wonder when the last big discovery was. <coughs> That's a good question. Yeah. And if you could try to kind of work. With well, that whole thing and be like, I found this thing in the middle of the desert. All you'd have to do is like just be a prophet of of a uh, mono the mono monotheistic god. Yeah. It's so just like you had um like the 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 Jewish teachings, then you just had Jesus who came along and was like, No, I am the son of this God that we all believe in already. And then you had Muhammad come along and be like, Jesus was an earlier prophet. But these are actually the rules. God has spoken to me again. Yeah. So now we have to be like, is no, God's spoken to me again. I think we need more prophets. That's what we're kind of missing. I'm straight up capitalist, bro. Always thinking about them prophets. Always thinking, I'm always thinking about the prophets, boy. <laughs> you know, I like I let them prophets in my bank account. How do we actually become a prophet? How do I think you could. I think like almost... You have to have like a, a lot of influence. You have to be an influential person. You have to have... A lot of good ideas. A lot of people would say, um, a lot of people like as a prophet. In that, in that like um, Islam book that I was reading, mm. they were like talking about how Muhammad was able to do that because it was just a perfect time. Like Arabia was just split. Everyone was warring. Ah. And there was like the Jews and the Christians also yep. in Arabia. And they were quite oppressive to these people who were like pagans or believed in like a plethora of gods. Mm. And just that unification of believing in that one one God and one purpose. Yeah. And then the other great thing that he did was accepting Jews and Christians and yeah. being like, no, we must accept people who are like old, like believe in the old iterations. Yeah, they're just backwards. We still have to let them do their thing, though. We have to let them do their thing. We let them do their thing. They're old fashioned. They're backwards, but we just can't. Uh, just can't let them. We just can't trust. I just want them to look at my wife. That's all. Oh, there was something about that as well that I learned. It, it doesn't mention in the Quran. That I know, I know, I know. She is six, but you're not going to see that. <laughs> That's only for me. <laughs> you just have to use your imagination. Imagination. Um, she's not bad. Six is all right as well. That's three six-year-olds stacked on top of each other. You ain't in know. <laughs> you ain't know it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was it? Oh, it says that 
the prophet's wife, wives shall be covered up. It doesn't say that anyone else has to be. <laughs> Some just guy literally just covers up his wife and he's like, oh, oh, is that, is that true? <laughs> I, I, even, I guess that makes me a prophet. <laughs> I guess that makes me a prophet. All right, so that's the first thing we need to do to become prophets is we need to cover <laughs> up our wives. <laughs> what else have they got going on? That's great. I love I love that you're really getting into all this history stuff as well. Yeah, it's that's very interesting. Yeah. It's so super spacey though. Only prophets cover up their wives. I like that a lot. Only prophets cover up their wives. Yeah. But I'm not sure if that is the case. That was like the early kind of iteration and then like books came after that with the, um, what do you call them? There was like four. <laughs> it's like, okay, I see a lot of you have been reading the whole prophets cover up their wives thing. We can't all be prophets. So we're going to have to make some changes there. Sorry. Sorry to all that have kind of started covering up their wives, <laughs> but it's only for a select few. We can't all be prophets. <laughs> please, please prophet. My wife is albino. <laughs> Sorry, take it off. <laughs> Either that, it was like the prophet, all the prophet's wives are covered up. Yeah. And then it's just everyone covered up and they're like, look at all my wives. <laughs> it's just for him. I don't remember having this many wives. <laughs> oh, there she is again. And again, I did pretty good. I guess I did pretty good myself. Literally wrote it just for him to kind of look at all these women and be like, <laughs> 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 he goes to touch them. <laughs> He's like, hey, go <laughs> what? If they have a vagina, <laughs> they are my wife. <laughs> oh man, that's great. So if you if you and then they changed that, so everyone kind of started covering up their wives because they thought it was be they were going to be a prophet. Um, what are some other things we could do to? Be prophets. All right. What else? What else do we do? Accepting the religions before that was another big thing that, like, won in popularity. Accepting what? Accepting religions. Accepting the religions that came prior. Ah, okay. Whereas, like, pagan religions were fighting against the monotheistic people. Yeah. Like tribes. Mm. I guess you would call it. So that's another thing. <laughs> Somehow we just need to work. Maybe like Eastern kind of religion in there like buddhism and hinduism hey we kind of we respect that yeah i don't know how we're gonna pull that off yeah because i'm not gonna <laughs> worship an obese man <laughs> sorry i'm not gonna worship you you're dying sorry you're dying that's i'm sorry to be a bit harsh but you're dying i'm not gonna worship a man who's dying i know it comes across as being fat phobic <laughs> but you're dying i'm sorry <laughs> I'm not going to worship a dying man. Imagine if Buddha was just like straight up fat shamed. I read a thing on like, um, <laughs> Buddha was fat shamed. Like straight up. He's like, you know, this is only going to make me eat more. <laughs> if you keep fat shaming me. That's such a thing like as well. People Give up your <laughs> earthly possessions, especially your food. Uh, I'll, like, I'll, okay, see, um, I'll see to it that they're disposed of. <laughs> Uh, sorry, uh, like, yeah, why are you winking at me? I was just saying that. Oh, no, no, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not winking. I'm having a stroke. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who brought me all this fried chicken? <laughs> How, what even is this? <laughs> I didn't even know we had this. That'd be great being bored. It'd be like, yeah, yeah, all your food, sorry. Imagine just assembling a bunch. Of, oh, but that was only <laughs> that, that, that Buddha. Buddha's like a title too, you know? Really? Yeah, it's not It's not like the one... There's not one dude called Buddha who's really fat. No, there's, there's a multiple, bunch of guys. There's a bunch of fat guys. Buddha and they're really fat. Well, I guess I'm a, I must be Buddha then. A lot of Buddhas live in, live in basements, writing... Um, <laughs> uh, Watching Lil Nas X videos. I was just thinking as well, probably in Hinduism, there was some guy who said like he was trying to draw his penis. He's like, no, it's like an elephant down there. <laughs> He's like, Really? He's like, no, seriously, look, this is what it looks like. He just draws like a elephant with a whole bunch of arms. <laughs> like, That's how my penis looks. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. It's crazy, like, uh, I'm, I'm visioning. I'm keen to look into, like, Hinduism. It's crazy, yeah. like, having all those gods and how they all kind of survive over this time, you know? That's true. And, they're, yeah, they're still around. What about Winduism? It's like makes Windu from Star Wars. Oh, what was I going to say? Oh, yes. Yeah, speaking out like fat shaming, whatever. I follow like this this page on Instagram. It's like mm -hmm. feminist something. 
Yeah. Like some very interesting takes. Yeah, yeah. And um, it's like, no, sorry, Buddha was not dying. He was just, <laughs> he was a healthy man. He actually had a really good diet. And sorry, excess body fat does not mean someone is unhealthy. What, well, that's it actually was that's healthy. what this post was saying. It was about like fat shaming. Yeah. Um, Look where Buddha got. Huh? But it you was say that. fat people can't do stuff. Look at Buddha. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. Like, everyone's saying. like, you know, the Buddha is just a, it's a term. It's not a person. <laughs> it's like, oh, you're saying he's not a person now. You're, you're, <laughs> trying, <laughs> you're trying to take away his person. You're trying to dehumanize him because he's a little overweight. Is that what you're trying to do now? If he's not a person, then how does he have all those wives? <laughs> um, Wrong dude, man. Uh, yeah, and it was this post, and it was talking about like the different ways, like people that are like uh, like heavier set, how they're discriminated against. Yeah, and it was like talking about. Well, it said, I mean, yeah, it was very broad. The different reasons that they gave one was like comedians, like making. Fat oh, phobic right. jokes and whatever, but there was one that was like, like yeah, they are very broad. They are very broad. <laughs> There's a lot going on. They're very wide. Broad means wide. So technically, uh, they are. It's very talking broad. about like women, uh, or like people, I guess. It was just talking about people, but like going to the doctor and saying like I have this problem, and they're like, oh, just lose some weight. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like, oh no, my problem is that I have like bone cancer. Yeah. It's like, like doctor, like, seriously, I've been shot. <laughs> it's like it's. <laughs> well, how about you lose a few kilos and then lose you see me? Kilos. If that was a thinner person, they probably could have dodged that. <laughs> doctor, uh, I'm being. Hard with it. Yeah, which is interesting. Getting, not being able to be um, treated by a doctor because you're overweight. I know it's a really big thing in kind of um, uh, Chinese medicine as well. If you go to like a lot of Chinese doctors, they'll just be like, no, I'm not going to see you till you lose weight. Sorry. Really? Yeah. Like, I'm not here to see Buddha. I'm here to see a healthy person. <laughs> you know <laughs> what I mean? Like, there's stuff you can do. Like, I, I don't need to get involved. Into, there's stuff you can do to help yourself. <laughs> you know that, you know, you know, actually, Dr. Buddha is like a broad term meaning. Yeah, you are broad. <laughs> and someone... Br- Roared in my next patient. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. What else? Buddha's a big boy. Buddha's a real big boy. What are some other religions out there? I'm trying to think of the forgotten ones. Is Sikhism like a sect of Hinduism? Oh, I think it is. Where it's like, it is Tony Hawk. It's pretty much it. That's the big five. That is the big five. Judaism What's up with Sikhs? Why do they go to wear those? Why do they go to wear those silly hats? I don't know the hat. Why do they go to wear those silly hats? Huh? Like we get it. You, you're trying to look like. You're trying to look like Fifty Cent with a do rag, and I'm just letting you know that is not a do rag. Is what that the hat? Are looking at? Uh, or Sikh Sikh hats. S I H, oh S I K H, Sikh. It's not even a hat; it's like a scarf. Imagine you're just like, oh. no, I want to be like Fifty Cent and get Richard Eye trying. He's wearing a do rag, and they just get it completely <laughs> wrong. <laughs> <laughs> just like, dude, that looks nothing like Fifty Cent. And it's like, no, it does. Wait, what's this? Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon always wears um. Explains well. Sikhism. Yeah. Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon's like, do you know Sikhism Isn't he was... is a black nationalist or something? He's a black Israelite. He's like, do you know Sikhs were just trying to look like 50 Cent and get Richard Died Trying in the album cover where he was wearing a do-rag and they got it completely wrong. I'm so confused. Is he a Sikh? No, he's wearing it like for some weird reason. Again, he's very um mixed up. Our boy Nick Cannon. What's he go with him? Do you know? I think he's got a lot of things going on. <coughs> he's trying to like start something. Because I know, um, do you know? Maybe like he could be our next prophet. Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, we. Wow, then. Wow, then. Because we'd have to start from scratch. This guy's already got a platform. He just gets roasted at every time he tries to speak. <laughs> like, they keep on bringing up Mariah Carey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, oh he's you see. out there trying to put out fires. Oh, your um, highness. But I'm, gonna, I'm about to 
Chuck a burger on Mariah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you looking all high, high, bro? I'm with Mariah. We in the bedroom. I'm making it do high notes. <laughs> 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 it's like okay, man, we gotta we gotta get to this. Uh, no, I ain't done. I got that girl Mariah. She doing something strange to my ding dong. Okay, you play hide and seek. I'm with Mariah, and she's. Playing hide on my D. I didn't even. Know I had that. sex with Mariah. <laughs> 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 Listening to Lil Nas X. <laughs> she looks like a Buddha. I need a little ass next. <laughs> 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 hey, oh, you call yourself Nick Cannon? We impersonated Muhammad earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if this episode can go I out. Know. <laughs> Especially that you're looking into all of the stuff. You're like, they seem to have an issue with this Muhammad guy when you impersonate him. It's so funny doing one like this. And it's like... I had sex with Mariah Carey. <laughs> 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 okay, we get it, Muhammad. We get it. No, really. She, um... Uh, she thinks so the, the people in the KKK to... were just wives of... <laughs> Is that to go with that? Um, um, I've completely forgot the term now. What are they wives of the prophets? Prophets. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? I'm Muhammad's wife. What you talking? I don't even know. I'm, this is, Muhammad's a, ca- a common name. We're not talking about the prophet. We're talking about a different Muhammad. Uh, I'm 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 Abdul's wife. What you talking about? Um. I'm blowing some smoke out. rings with my vape. It's pretty sick. sick. It pretty no big sick. deal. No big deal. Um, it's one of the things that I do. I do pretty. Just, what we're just getting at. We're just I'm talking. I do a few cool <laughs> things. <laughs> <laughs> um, we are talking about Nick Cannon doing something. Um, I completely forgot that train of thought. Nick Cannon. Oh, talking about the Sikhs. Oh, the Sikhs. Oh yeah, being our new prophet. Oh yeah, that's right. We Who just have to get behind him, <laughs> but everyone keeps roasting him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it's a black Israelite. DJ, Kendrick. cut the beat. Kendrick's kind of a black Israelite. I think they are all black Israelites. What do you mean they all? Um, usually, all these pretty militant. I think I told we've talked about this, but all those militant rappers usually have like belief systems and like crossover with black Israelite teachings. <laughs> what did the black Israelite? thought come from uh, i think it came from i bet this is some guy called black you what's up my name's black i uh, am yeah, from I'm, I'm israeli um where did it s- honestly come from though because you have I think it came from new york no but you have the jewish you have the jewish people oh, who are the israelites and then they went to what africa they went to egypt and were imprisoned <laughs> and then You've got. Um, I'm sorry. I'm. Uh, yeah. You've got a guy called Hotep Jesus. Who that? I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look up. It's the right guy. Do you call Hotep Jesus? You hear what I'm saying, though? Yeah. Yeah. No. No. And it. it, it they go against history. It's Hotep Jesus, isn't it? Oh, uh, is that what they're actually saying? No. No. What's his? Uh, the guy with the big eyes. Yeah. Yeah. This is the dude. He's like black people have always been in America. Like everything, it's all based around America as well. And it's like slavery wasn't a thing. Black people have come over here. We've been in America. Are you being we real? had straight up, we had white people as slaves. I don't think that's the truth. Oh, I have I no know, reason yeah. to believe but that, actually. That's We're thing. all just believing. If you really look into it, he, he provides like a decent case. We can literally, like, after, after this as well, it's interesting to like watch, um, I mean, listen to some of his ideas. And he stares, he's got like a real stare. And it kind of makes it a little bit more um, believable because he keeps talking about how black people were here beforehand. And Oh, he was on... Um, <coughs> is this him on... Welcome with Michael Mellis. Oh, yeah, he was on Rogan, yeah. He was on Rogies. He was on Rog- Rogarooskies. He has some good ideas. Is that... <coughs> so he's saying, like, white people used to be in slaves 
Yeah, white people were slaves first, Good. and they kind of there was a weird shift in power dynamics, and suddenly we became the slaves. But if the black people are from America, then why Israel? Um, it's in that I think it's the idea of like uh, Israel kind of being like the homeland. Black Cute. Israelites, I think they have like a homeland. I don't even think it's necessarily Israel. I they think just it's, the word. it's more like they we are the Israelis, we are the Israelites that they were mentioned in the Bible. We are the chosen people. More as like not Israel specifically in this. But they're not people. talking about America in the in the Bible. I know. They they kind of I think this dude goes against the Bible. Oh actually no. <laughs> no what does he do? It's very it's very um mixed and all over the place. But the idea is black people in America have always been here. Um, they are the true chosen people. Mm, okay. They have a right to um, Zion, their homeland. I don't know if it, if that's also in Israel or where, where that is. I think Zion. But they got the wrong people. Like j- the modern Jewish person is just a, uh, a Gentile. There is no such thing as Jewish people. They're all Gentiles. You got the wrong group. They don't exist. The Jewish people are the black people in America. We are the. the is Jews. this guy crazy? Um, it's half half. Like Eddie. if you if you had to say, you'd be like, oh yeah, this guy doesn't really. Hey, no, he sucks. He sucks you in enough. That's oh, that's, that's the thing. He honestly sucks you in enough. It's pretty fascinating. And again, it's funny. I remember my my brother told me about it, <coughs> and I was like, that sounds absolutely insane. And then I started watching, and I was like, this guy's absolutely insane. And then I was like, yes, he speaks with such conviction. Yeah. And um, he doesn't blink, which also helps. Um, well, let's look into it. We got to wrap now, anyway. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna look into Hotep Jesus. All right. Um, just one last thing I wanted to say. Uh, it's not that Muhammad. It's a different one. It's a guy. You it's a, it's that with. one. It's it's the one you like. No. It's the one you like. No. That's what we're talking about. All right. Peace. Peace.